Hey, just a couple of uh, quick videos, uh, so you don't have to watch everything all at one time. Uh, this is just a little bit on welcome to the class. Uh, my name is Dr. K. This is stuff we would normally do on the first day of class. I would go over some of these things. So I thought we'd go ahead, because it's a hybrid class, go ahead and talk about the syllabus, talk about how assignments are supposed to be done and turned in, um, and uh, where you can find all the assignments. So we'll go ahead and do all that. So first of all, let's just do the syllabus in this video, and I'll do homework and stuff in the other videos. So um, the welcome video, that's going to be this video, so we're not going to jump there. Uh, we can go to the home page. That's where we were just at. So this is kind of what your Canvas would look like when you logged in. This is um, the student view, so this is what you should see. I'm not sure it's going to be exactly what you see, but it should be pretty close. Um, and then uh, there's announcements. Uh, there's already an announcement that I posted. This is a welcome announcement, but I haven't made a class. Uh, I haven't published it yet, so you won't be able to see that yet. Um, there's assignments here. Let me click on assignments. I do have to do some due date adjusting uh, the way uh, Canvas works when I imported all this stuff from previous semesters. Uh, it gives a really um, bad due dates. Let's put it that way. So I have to shift them so uh, that you can actually turn them in on time. Like this one says, like, well, yeah, that one's due on August 2nd. And this one doesn't even have a due date, so I have to fix all that. I'm not exactly sure what happened to all that. Anyways, and then you'll be able to find your grades here. This will be a list of all, sorry, this will be a list of all the assignments and the scores that you got. You can see there's quite a few of them, including, this includes exams and all the homeworks and the chapters they cover. It includes that some labs. Uh, we There's some online labs listed here, but we're really only doing one of these online this semester. Sometimes um, we have to do labs online just because of scheduling uh, purposes, but we probably will do all of these labs in person except one this semester. And that's the one that comes during Thanksgiving. So let's go ahead and look at the syllabus. Okay, so here's the syllabus. Um, your lab times depend on your section, and we will meet the first week of class. So that means on Tuesday of this week you will meet, or on Thursday of this week you will meet, and it depends on your section number. Now, I don't know what section you're in, but you should know that because it should be on your, uh, what we call self-service now, it used to be a web advisor. Uh, the classroom is MSCI 201, and that is on the west side of campus near the gym. Uh, there's parking there. But that's not the parking that you use, the one behind the gym. That's for faculty, and they are not relaxing parking this year. So if you park there as a student, you'll probably get a ticket. On the other hand, not too far from there, actually, if you go a little bit north um, of the uh, gym, what you'll find is another parking lot on the other side of the road from the science building. So this is Mass Science, Mass science Building. Okay. My office hours, Tuesday, Thursday, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Notice that's just right before class, so I will actually be in the classroom. And then on Fridays, I usually try to come in between 9 and noon and meet with students who need additional help. In addition to that, I'm available for office hours after the lab are over, and I can sit around and help you do homework. Because this is a hybrid class, at the beginning of each lab, what we'll do is dedicate some time to going over homework questions that you have trouble with. So... Hopefully you'll have those ready and ready to go, uh, having attempted them, and bring them to class and, and get help with those things. Um, now, uh, the book that you have to have is Tro Chemistry, Introductory Chemistry or Chemistry Essentials. So it says the Essentials version has less pages and usually is a lot cheaper. So hopefully you can find an addition from the third to the sixth. And I sub selected problems for each one of those that you'll just work out on paper and turn in. I'll talk about that more in a little homework video as well. Lab manual is just provided as a free download, but you need to print it because I have 90 students this semester, and if I have to print uh, four or five pages every week for 90 students, you can see how that gets to be a lot of paper for me. And you don't really need to print the whole thing just to report pages and the pre-labs and the post-lab stuff. Uh, you need a scientific calculator. Um, oh, yeah, that's me. And... Uh, this is uh, my cell phone number. You can text me at my cell phone number. Uh, it's funny. I don't. I usually put this on YouTube. And, uh, I never think anybody's going to watch it. Turned out one time a faculty member from another school was watching my video and saw the phone number and actually sent me a text. And I had. To, I ended up helping them with some stuff with their class. Anyways, it's kind of funny. 
uh, yeah, so this class was originally developed as an online class, and now it's kind of the hybrid class. Occasionally, you'll see references to, hey, we're going to do this online. In fact, we'll just do some of those things in person this semester. Um, if you have an accommodation and you have uh, so, some sort of support for that from the Disabled Student Services, I'm happy to make accommodations for you. We have a testing center and stuff like that where you can have extra time uh, for exams. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem, but some people do need uh, like uh, quieter spaces or isolated spaces uh, uh, for doing exams. So just let me know and we can take care of that. You just have to have the SPS contact me. Um, I will do attendance on Tuesdays and Thursdays, depending on the section you're in, just by standard, here's a call roll, or I'll hand out a sheet and you guys sign in. Uh, if you don't contact me by the end of the, of the first week or the end, turn anything in by the end of the second week, you'll get dropped. And Thanksgiving this year is 11.23 to 11.24. And let me just warn you, there after that, there's one week, and then the week after that is finals. So... I hate to say this, but it makes it really hard on you to have all the distractions of Thanksgiving and coming back and you probably take an exam. It's just really difficult. Um, so try to stay focused at that time and I'll warn you as we get closer. And uh, the final exams are depending on which section you're in. So the 4-5 section will uh, be Tuesday and the 4-4 section will be Thursday. Same class time, same classroom, okay? There'll be four in-person multiple choice exams. Those will be held during a lab period and then we'll probably do a lab or a worksheet after. Um, in fact, I like to do the lab and worksheet first. I'll ask you guys what you want to do. That way you get whatever time you need in order to finish the exam and then you can take off when you're done. Um, and then you'll need the Scantron 882E and then um, yeah, each exam days consist of a short experiment and an exam, so make sure you come prepared for lab. And like I said, I like to do the exam last, so that when you're done with the exam, you can leave. Uh, the, the experiments are usually pretty quick, but we'll, we'll see how it, how it works out this semester, what works best for you guys. Uh, I don't usually give extra credit assignments, but let's go to the grading. Um, oh yeah, here is a kind of extra credit. Your lowest exam score will be replaced by your final exam score. So let's say you can't come to a test, it's fine. Uh, well, it's not fine, really, but, you know, it's not the end of the world, but make sure you study that material still because it'll show up on your final, and the final can be used to replace that. Um, the alternate is, is I might be able to give you a makeup exam, but it really just depends on schedules. Sorry. Close that out. Uh, grading is a 90, 80, 70, 60 standard straight uh, percent scale. Uh, homework is 10% of your grade. I'll talk about that when we talk about homework. Lab reports are 25% of your grade. Exams are half your grade, and your finals 15% of your grade. So really, exams, finals, 65% of your grade. Now, your uh, to pass the class, you have to do experiment 11B successfully. That's your lab final. Uh, it's usually people do fine. And um, you have to get a 70% average on your lab reports, which is usually not too hard. Now, uh, I'll talk about that when we talk about lab, but um, your exam average has to be 60%, it says 65 up here. I always remember to change it after I've already made the video, so I'll change that if I remember later. So anyways, let's set it here though, 60% um, to pass the class on your exams. Um, for lab, um, Try to, I try to make it match up with what we're doing in the class. It doesn't always work out. Um, for every experiment, you're going to download the experiment file. If a lab video exists, you can watch it. Because I did all these on video, so you should be able to watch and see what gets done and what different things are called and how to use them. You should be able to see that kind of stuff. Um, Tell somebody to walk into the front door when the doorbell rings, the dogs are going to go nuts, but that's fine. Um, you come to class, perform the experiment, fill out the data sheets, complete the calculations. If there's a pre lab assignment, though, you have to finish before class. If you have questions, um, you should uh, ask before class starts. That's that hour before. If you have trouble with the pre lab, come the hour before. I can help you fill out the pre labs. I don't usually, ex I mean, I don't usually, how does this? I always accept assignments, um, but you 
you're going to get a zero until I grade it. So if you turn it in late, uh, I'll, I'll still give you full credit unless it's really late, let's say two, three weeks late or after the exam. Um, but it's going to be a zero until I get it graded. And you're going to be submitting these things online. And so uh, it just sits there. Uh, I have 90 students. That's 90 students per assignment. Uh, there's probably three assignments every week. And so there are times when I just can't get to your late work. So I'll try to, but it doesn't always work out. Okay, uh, just to be successful in class, try to read the chapter before you watch the lecture. For video lectures, which is what you get, treat them like in-person lectures. Take notes and give yourself a break about every hour. Uh, and shut the distractions out. Turn your phone to silent. Uh, do not disturb whatever your phone has on it. And then really try to focus and write down your questions because when you come to the lab, you get to ask those questions or you can send me a text message. I, I, did I tell you this already? My cell phone number is up in here somewhere, right? Cell phone number. You can text me for help. Um, let's see. Yeah, always show your work because that's how I give credit. I'll talk about that when I talk about ho in the homework video. And then consider forming a study group. So one last thing that I want to do is talk about the uses of videos. Well, actually, I'll make another video on this, but the use of videos uh, to be successful in this class.